everybody, this is Allison Smith with Arizona Science Center, and I'm here on the Evans Family Sky Cycle. So we're going to be talking a little bit about how the sky cycle works. So I am buckled in, safety first, so I have a harness. It's attached to myself, attached to my leg. I'm also attached to the bike at three different points on my side and on my back, which you can't really see very well. That way I am nice and securely attached to this bike. Now, this isn't a regular bicycle. We wouldn't be able to ride a regular bicycle on a wire. This is a special bike designed for our sky cycle. So one of the first things to point out is these wheels. So think about a bicycle wheel. How is this different than a bicycle wheel? What do you all notice about this bike? Well, hopefully something that you all notice are the tires. So this doesn't have a tire like a typical bike. We think about a bicycle, we think of those rubber tires. And that rubber tire has lots of friction and it goes on the road and that friction rubbing against the concrete combined with the gears is gonna help you be able to move as you're bicycling down the road. Now this wheel, however, you'll notice is metal and it's going to be a has a surface with much less friction. And this, this wheel is going to be on the wire. So the wire is going to be providing a little bit of friction there. But the wheel has this unique shape in order to accommodate that wire. Now, this bike though still has your typical gears and pedals. So we have our gears, we have our pedals, so those parts are pretty normal. It's these wheels that really make it unique. Now, I'm all touched in, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna start cycling backwards, and Gabby is gonna be explaining a little bit about how this is working. Now, as Allison's pedaling back, it is not me on the bicycle because I have a fear of heights. So a fear of heights is called acrophobia. This might remind you of something like arachnophobia. That's a fear of spiders. So acrophobia is a fear of heights. Now, as she's pedaling out, you might notice something about the bottom of the bike. It's very heavy, and even when she's moving over, she's not tipping over at all. So that bottom bar there is a counterbalance for her bicycle. She's very brave, but the science is keeping her nice and safe on that bike. So it's essentially Allison at the top and a sumo wrestler at the bottom. So that weight is super heavy and is helping keep her balanced on this very, very, very tiny wire. So I'm going to walk out over to the side so we can take a glance at her in action on the sky cycle. It's pretty far and you can see that she's pedaling out on the back. Now the weight of this cycle is still being acted upon by gravity. So if you notice, the middle of the wire is slightly curved down. This is called the catenary curve. The flexible chain and cable has gravity acting upon it. So it might be easier for her to pedal backwards than it is for her to pedal forwards. As she's pedaling, again, like she was talking about, those bike wheels are grabbing onto that chain, propelling her forward, and she can move side to side without falling at all. As you can see, another safety measure is the net right beneath us, just making sure that there's all the bases covered and she is able to successfully ride the sky cycle with no problem at all. How was that, Allison? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on our Sky Cycle ride today. Uh, comment if you have been on the Sky Cycle yourself and any experiences that you had. Um, and have a great day. Check out our website, azscience.org, for more awesome science. And we'll see you next time.